Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, uh, early this morning, we got the Dokkan V-Jump leak for this month. A big shout out to DBS Hype one on Twitter for providing us with the scan. And from what I can tell, it's basically giving us some information about the upcoming Halloween celebration at the end of this month for both Global and JP. Well, actually, I'm not 100% sure if Global's going to be getting this stuff in the near future. Um, it might be JP first, but at the very least, the thing at the top here is for both Global and JP for Halloween. So uh, basically, there were three main things that were revealed in this scan here. And the first thing is that the Halloween unit for this year is going to be an Android 8 or 8er that Dokkan awakens into a 17 and 8er. So there you go. Every single year we have some kind of a unique unit. I think last year was the... Wait, was it Grandpa Gohan and Pan? That was either last year or two years ago. And then we had the Kid Saiyan Man, we had the Candy Vegito. So uh, yeah, this year it's the 17 and 8 -er. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously 8 -er was always a good choice for a Halloween unit just because it looks like Frankenstein, right? So I'm okay with that. And then from there we have some Extreme Z Awakenings. So there's going to be an Extreme Z area for the future uh, Tech 17 as well as the STR Future 18. And as far as free to play units go, man, these two are already really impressive. So I'm very excited for these EZAs. Can't wait to see uh, what they look like, obviously. And then we also have an LR Extreme Z Awakening for the Prime Battle AGL Future Trunks. So those were essentially the only things we learned, which is pretty awesome. I mean, it seems to be an Android Saga uh, themed celebration, which I'm always down for. And yeah, three Extreme Z Awakenings, new Aider, and 17. And that was this month's V-Jump scan. Now let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about uh, the Halloween unit, and obviously, of course, the Extreme Z Awakenings. Now for those of you that are not familiar with these units, let me just quickly uh, show you what they look like. So, this is the Tech 17. His leader skill is Android, uh, Category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 70%, Additional attack and defense plus 70% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when your team has Android 18 Future attacking in the same turn. Launches an additional super attack when there is a uh, Hybrid Saiyans category enemy. And then for the 18, Sibling Spawn category Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense. Supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when your team has an Android 17 future attacking in the same turn. Launches an additional super attack when there is a hybrid Saiyans category enemy. So, these two, as I said, man, were already very, very good uh, free-to-play units, not really units that needed Extreme Z Awakenings necessarily, but obviously, I'm definitely down for EZAs, especially for this 18 here. And of course, we don't have any information about what they do yet, but I would assume, obviously, for the leader skill, it would just be like a 20% increase. Uh, so, you know, HP attack and defense plus 70%. And then for the super attack, um, I think they might keep this the same. I don't really see them going, like, greatly raising attack and defense, but maybe, like, uh, you get, like, a lowering, you know, greatly lowering defense for the enemy or something like that. And then for the passive... Uh, ooh, they might bump this up to, could they bump it up to 100%? Could it be 100% attack and defense, 100% additional um, attack and defense, and also high chance of evading enemies' attacks when you have a future 17? And I guess they'll keep this the same. So it could just be like a minor, you know, increase or a minor change like that. It would, it would make a huge difference for these units just because you know, you're getting basically 200% attack and defense, and also a high chance to dodge. And then for the 17, of course, you would get, you know, 100% here, 100% here, and then a high chance to crit when you have Android 18 future attacking the same turn. Something like that, obviously, could be different, but that's kind of what I'm predicting, and they will be very, very good, especially because they will get better stats, too, with the EZAs, right? 
And then for the future Brunks here, his current leader skill is Future Saga, he plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack, colossal damage, uh, units or ultra super attack, greatly raise the attack for one turn, colossal damage, oh, sorry, mega colossal damage, and then passive is just 25,000 attack at the start of turn, keep plus 8, and attack and defense plus 20,000 when facing two or more enemies. Of course, he's not really that uh, impressive anymore, especially because of the flat boosts. Now, what kind of extremes the awakening could they give him? I think they're still going to gear him towards defense. Um, I mean, he should do a lot more damage too, of course. I mean, I don't really have any ideas. Uh, with these LREs, yays, they sometimes tend to like add some kind of flavor. So I'm sure he'll do like additional damage or, you know, get like an additional super against androids or something to that effect. Uh, we'll see. I'm not going to do too much speculation here. If you guys have any ideas for what you want the LR Trunks EZA to look like, feel free to leave those suggestions in the comments. But for now, um, I'm just going to say I expect some good things, man. I mean, considering what the LR Super Saiyan Goku looks like and considering what the LR Frieza especially looks like. I mean, that guy's getting like, you know, 7, 8 mil attack uh, supers, right? Like, he is quite insane. So I don't expect Trunks to really hit that hard or like as hard as the LR First from Frieza, but I do think his defense will be better because the LR First from Frieza sometimes does struggle for defense. So, um, yeah, I expect him to be somewhere between like Goku and Frieza in terms of offense and then probably better defensively than both of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the uh, V-Jump leak for this month. EZA for the uh, future trunks. EZAs for the free-to-play future 18 and 17s. And then also the uh, 8 -er and 17. And once we get information about what each of these units do, I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video. But for now, that's all you need to know, man. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always... If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And, <clears throat> sorry, and uh, that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.